Hi guys and welcome back. They got me. Who got me? Market got me. You know, somebody is against me over there. Market makers are playing some kind of a game. They're playing against me. You know that saying when a lot of people when they're in hitting that losing streak are saying that markets are wrecked. Well, I had exactly the same feeling today. I was in a beautiful bad pattern on the USD CAD. It turned around to the pip and then started pushing towards, pushing up towards to hit my targets one. And when it came to four pips to target one, it immediately blew and against me, blew against me and closed me out within like a few seconds. So to check it out on a chart, stay tuned because I'm coming right back. Good morning everybody and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. Today is April the 17th of 2019. Let's dig into the charts and let's check out what the market has prepared for us today. So we are moving sideways on USD CAD. There is no real direction and um, there is no real patterns or something that I could take advantage of. But I'm only looking for patterns on this pair. As you can see, there was a pattern here, a big garfle, I believe. But because of the market went overbought here on this candle, I was not able to get engaged with it. So I passed it. However, it was a two, uh, two target winner. Uh, besides this, uh, there is nothing else. So maybe this would be an extra A to B, B to C. Uh, and that would be it that I'm looking for on this pair. On Aussie CAD, I'm, as I'm backtesting and uh, this trend strategy, I marked the position that I would have took because if you take a look at the hour four, we are obviously in a bullish trend here and we made a new high. So I have a bias uh, that we will go higher and uh, that, we'll, that we would at least retest this high. So I went to my trading time frame, I found this double bottom and based on my strategy that I'm backtesting, I marked this chart up. And as you can see yesterday when I marked it up, uh, price action go, went up almost hit my targets here, rally, uh, uh, rolled over back down, uh, got me to zero, almost in negative, and then market exploded to the upside to took my targets. This, this strategy actually provides me better risk to reward than, than the par pattern, so I'm looking forward to it and trading in line, which will be, I believe, by the end of June. I think on all, of, on all six of my, my pairs, if, it, if, if I found it, if I find it profitable, basically. Uh, you, could, you also had, I think, a smaller bad pattern here, which you can then use to uh, tr uh, trade it all the way to the upside, you know? Uh, so you can use the bad pattern to get engaged into a trend, okay? So it's X to A, A to B, B to C, C to the completion, boom, market is exploding to the upside. But I'm not testing the bad bad pattern pattern entries. I'm only testing uh, the direct entries with the price action, reading the price action chart. That being the double bottom or the uh, hard 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 close candles, based that I need to have a risk to reward and a different stop placement. Okay, so that's a short like a little intro on what I'm testing. So you can expect some kind of a uh, earlier results and updates on my uh, trading system and all of that is done. Now let's move forward to the Aussie USD. Poof. Also making a new highs. From the looks of it, it's making new highs, but I don't see anything. Yeah, if this candle closes, I believe it will, but we'll see. From the looks of it, I don't see anything else besides moving up so i don't see any possible patterns i can delete this one though yeah we will see from now for now i don't see anything else for us okay euro dollar also the pair that i'm back testing the strategy on well this is the first one that i started i marked this zone because on our four we are also making higher highs higher closes we breached our previous outside return here, made a higher, higher, higher close, pulled back, made a higher, higher, higher close, pulling back into this zone right there. On our one, uh, I expect I expected price to find some kind of support here. It obviously did. Uh, uh, rolled, moved up from here, rolled over here, made a higher, higher, higher close here. That would be my entry probably because I did not get opportunities here. My stop loss would go below. 
and then we will trade it all the way to retest the uh, higher high highs of, on the hour of four. So that's a risk of 30, that's a 35 pips or a possible winning, eight, 10 pips below this one would be like here. And then I would have a risk two and a half to one almost, yeah. Great risk to rewards in these trades. By the way, here on this pair, we might have something like this. As you can see, we might have a possible bat for us. X to A, A to, what would it be? B, almost regardly, and B to C, and then C to D. Well, or if that's not gonna work, X to A, A to P, B to C, C to D completion right there. So it could also be used into uh, trend, trade, trade, you know, bad pattern. This that I'm showing you could be used to get engaged into a trend because if we violate this little structure, the trend is not violated actually because on our four, we are still bullish. So you can also use that to get engaged into a trade on our four time frame. Then let's move forward to pound dollar. Pound dollar is moving not so this cipher I have it marked up so since like two weeks ago and nothing is happening so it takes a while for this pattern sometimes to complete uh, for, yeah all of these patterns that would go from this X leg are violated so none of this would be valid for me let's see currently I don't see anything else besides that big cipher pattern here Okay, I, I'm just trying. There was a pattern last week, but it didn't complete and then it rolled over. And uh, now I'm trying to look for some kind of a surfers. No, nothing. Maybe there was something uh, yesterday that obviously I did not look at. Yeah, it was a, there was a surfer. If you take a look at this. Ah, it closed below 61. Again, not a surfer. So we are all good, we didn't miss anything. Yeah, I don't see anything here, guys. If you see something, comment below, correct me as soon as possible, but I do not see anything on this pair. Pound Yen, uh, took a little profit here from the bad pattern, X to A, A to B, B to C, took, took over a target one, took me out on a break even for a target two. Some people are trading bigger uh, bad pattern, which is not valid for me. Also, I'm not trading our four time frames uh, patterns, but this is it. X to A, A to B here, B to C here, and then C to D here, and a double double top here. It hit targets one yesterday as well. So yeah, that's my morning analysis. So it's a bit longer because I I'm I'm obviously starting to analyze the market for more strategies than, than just patterns. I hope you like that. More opportunities, more more room for profit. With that being said, this is a video that I do on a daily basis. If you like it, consider subscribing. If you're new to this channel, click the like button, smash the bell button and share the video so that as many people as possible can see it and get benefit from it. Uh, yeah, and see you in the afternoon session, guys. Bye. All right, hi, and welcome back to the afternoon session. This, this one is gonna be a very, very short one because as I said in the intro part of the video, they got me. <laughs> And what I meant by this is exactly this right here. So this morning I said, if, and if I didn't say, well, I didn't see it, but I saw it throughout the day for the bad pattern. Uh, I did say, I, yeah, I did mention it in the morning session that I'm gonna trade this X to A, A to B, B to C, and then C the completion right there. And look at, look at what happened. Price action came right to the 88.6 level uh, reverse and it went up almost to hit my targets one my target one at that time were at a uh, like at this price point right here so we came like four three and a half pips almost four pips uh, to my target one and then what happened I moved away from my charts you know because I don't like watching every thick of the price action so I moved away came back in you know, like within 30 minutes and I see this big ass spike uh, to the downside. So market actually rolled over and hit my stop loss only to reverse back and be at the same price level where I left it and where I was almost got triggered uh, filled for my target one. So this kind of sucks. There was some kind of a news and obviously this is a risk that I was aware of uh, sometimes during news events. 
we have uh, this radical actions of uh, this radical price action extreme movements in the market sometimes news works in our, our direction however sometimes they do not and this in this case they didn't besides this we haven't got anything else uh, on the radar i did mark this up in the in my charts that i'm expecting this to go up obviously it did go up some of my uh trader friends are trading this 2618 here i still didn't back test it so i will not uh, i will not talk about this right now i might talk about it later on in the future when i back tested it on this pair portfolio uh, besides this guys, besides this fun day in the market, there is nothing else and by, by saying this I will wrap up this session uh, and thank you very much for watching. If you are new here, yeah, of course consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and do this on a daily basis when we got some kind of an action like we did today. Also comment below uh, on trades that you took, what do you see in the market, what are you trading, what are our results, how much are you up, you know, overall I just start the trading chat and share the video, smash the bell button and all that cool stuff that YouTubers ask you to do on a daily basis. Thank you very much and speak to you soon, hopefully tomorrow with some good news.